Hello, Australia now has a space agency and I thought today we'd draw and then design some rockets. Big shout out to St Aloysius Year 5 in Newcastle who have been building and flying these water bottle rockets. <laughs> awesome, well done guys. Here's how you get started. Draw a straight line and this is a guideline so it can be nice and light and put a starting mark somewhere in the bottom of your page Trace around just the bottom half of the small ellipse. Now watch this one carefully. I'm using the ellipse now to mark off where I start the next line. Slide up and then mark in the bottom half only. So there's our opening. Mark the left and right. We'll come back later and put some thread onto those. Come up three centimetres from that ellipse mark off and we're using the large ellipse and the little minor axis marks line up with your guideline so it's centered on that we're drawing just the bottom half again that's good five centimeters up now we're going to do the same thing again center the ellipse draw the bottom half in which lines up with that mark good we're going to come up five centimeters again and larger lips bottom half this will make sense in a sec guys five centimeters up again and that's the top of the rocket so I'm going to join that apex and form what looks like a cone Now, really pointy ends are easily damaged so I'm going to round it off here's what you do if you like a big um, curve on the end like a capsule kind of look. Later on I'm going to change it to a finer kind of point which is a, bit, a little bit more aerodynamic going for maximum height here. Now I'm using a rule to join both sides and you can see we've got two cylinders. Yep. Now for the bottom of the bottle we're connecting both the left and right there. So join those dots. So this rocker uses two soda bottles, one the right way up and one upside down. Here's how to show a thread on the bottle. So to do your fins, come put a mark, come up about a centimetre, flip your splat upside down and place on that mark. So here's the angle of the fins that are coming towards you. This one's going to have four fins. Come in a little bit from the edge of the rocket and draw a vertical line straight down until it meets that fin line. Do the same thing on the other side. It's called mirroring when it's exactly the same. So we're going to connect the dots now. There's one dot there to there. Here's a rule. Now these fins are covering some of the lines that are going to be hidden. So I'm going to need to erase those lines right there. Boom. Now back to the original mark, put your splat up the other way. And these are where the fins are pointing away from you. And that's how long they are. We're using the splat length. Now what about the tops? Start from there, come up about a finger width and an imaginary dot. And that's the slope of the back fins, but they stop at the rocket. The rocket hides some of the line. So join the dot to the dot, but stop at the rocket. There you go. So there's your four fins. How easy is that? We're going to draw an exploded rocket on this side. Exploded meaning the parts are drawn slightly separated so we can see what makes it up. So I'm going to rush through this because it's exactly the same as before just that we're separating them. So here's my nose cone, and this time I'm using a smaller ellipse. I'm using the ellipse the wrong way around to do that, but that's because I want a really fine angle there. Okay, so this is how to draw the opening of a bottle when it's up the right way. Remember, we're using that width. On that point, we're going to draw a half, bottom half again. Join the sides. So that's like a little cylinder, but it's hollow. To make it look hollow, draw the thickness of the plastic in there. And if you want to draw the threads really neatly, slide the splat down a little bit each time. I'm going to come down three centimetres 
and mark off the bottom half. Connect it to the cylinder you've drawn. And it's kind of a funnel shape. Now the rest of the bottle, down five centimetres, bottom half of the ellipse again, and draw a We're going to drop That's down a centimetre or two, and then start our next cylinder. So you can see that they're separated, and that's what exploded means. Come down another five, bottom half of the ellipse, and draw our second cylinder. This will be the bottle that's tipped upside down. So let's come down another three and draw the small cylinder. Connect it with the funnel shape to the cylinder. Use the splat to I'm draw cutting and joining these two bottles together for maximum volume, amount of air and water. But if this is your first rocket, I would just leave the bottom um, bottle complete and only cut and join on the top bottle. All right, so we're drawing, same as before, some fins. Now I'm gonna use three Let's fins. Let's draw a launch pad under here. There's a guideline. I'm lining up the left and right corners. Flip the splat and you can see just a little bit returning the other way. From three corners, drop a line down as far as you like. I'm going to mark that one off and slide again. So I'm stacking two layers here. If you want a really neat job, you can then trace over your drawing by putting it up to a window with a fresh sheet over the top held by sticky tape. I'm choosing to use a pen and darken my drawing in. And then I'll probably erase the pencil lines and go ahead and color it. I'm changing the design of this second fin. I've chopped a little off. As long as the area of the fin is about as big as your palm, then any shape fins will work. The further down they are though, um, probably the better. I'm going to put a little bit of color in the launcher. So for launchers, the best um, value launcher that I know of is the Pitsco launcher, which comes from Kookaburra. Uh, you can get those online. Great for schools, really easy to set up. So have fun uh, designing and flying your rockets. Email me if you'd like some advice and um, if there's anything else you'd like to know. So really cool. Thanks for your work, guys. Please send some work in and show me and let me know if you don't mind me putting it up to um, show some others. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.